Okay, this video is about Ayurveda and what Ayurveda is. And um, for those of you that I'm saying the word very fast, I'm going to spell it for you. It's A Y U R V E D A. And in a lot of videos I've talked or referred to it, but I haven't explained what it is. So this video is for those people that are interested in alternative medicine. And first of all, the definition of Ayurveda is it's defined as the science of life. It's an ancient holistic medical system and it's one of the third most used medical systems in the world. So Western medicine is number one, Chinese medicine is number two, Ayurvedic medicine is number three. Ayurvedic medicine is based in India and they, they say that there's many medicines like the Chinese medicines we say started off being part of Ayurveda and then kind of the Chinese medicine kind of split off and did their own thing with the acupuncture. So Ayurveda is based upon the balance of energy in the body and we believe that each person is born with their unique um, balance of these um, of this energy and the energy that we measure is based upon the elements of of the um, world and it's kind of similar in a, in a way to Chinese medicine but different. <laughs> Chinese medicine is also based upon the elements so we use um, the elements of earth, water, fire, ether, air, and let me think that I have all of them. I probably missed one of them but I'll go over that again. So So um, each unique blend is based upon a blend of those elements. And those energy blends are known as doshas. So we divide everything up into three doshas. Well actually there's more than three doshas, but that can get complicated. But um, the three main doshas are vata, pitta, and kapha. Vata element is made of wind and ether or air and ether. The pitta is fire and water and the kapha is earth and water. So those are the elements. So those are the energy balances and each person has a certain percentage of those balances. So what we do with Ayurveda is that we're looking to balance the whole body. Um, one thing that's great about Ayurveda is that we start at the beginning, um, meaning that just to give you an example, Western medicine usually starts when you have a problem, a health, like a major health problem, and then it goes from there. We kind of start at the beginning when there was a little symptom, like maybe just a pain, a vague pain, we would start there um, and then treat, we treat symptoms, so we don't wait till it's um, a whole disease because we believe that when it's at that state, it's going to be very hard to cure or treat that that symptom, that's, that disease because it's a whole lot of symptoms at that point. So we have many more levels of, di of disease states that we recognize. Hope that makes sense. So the energy balances are known as doshas. So what we do is that we measure your, your dosha, um, dosha blend that you were born with. And we have different ways to determine that. And then when you look at your current balance, and if those don't match what you were initially born with, we know that in some way you're imbalanced, and that's what we consider to be something that we have to work on. Um, it could be a big problem, or it could be a little problem. And we can tell by um, how much more you are imbalanced from what your usual balance is. And we have different tools that we use in Ayurveda. So we use um, Ayurvedic herbs. So I'm doing this video. The intention is to inform people about using Makuna Purins um, because it's being used a lot and people don't understand that it's actually part of a medical system. And not everyone can use this um, herb successfully. But it does work. <laughs> 
So other tools, I mentioned the herbs, and we have a wide variety of herbs, and people are really interested, like the, the scientific community seems to be really interested in our herbs because they are quite powerful. They've been used for centuries. Um, they have to be, they aren't something that are, can be like mass produced easily. Like you can't take one herb from India and necessarily grow it and have the same medical properties. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. Um, other tools we have are food and diet. That's really like um, important to us. We think that everything kind of starts in the stomach and the colon area and we use food as medicine. We prefer to use food first and then if, if that doesn't work or often like people don't see that as a cure, we will use um, Ayurvedic herbs. We also look at your lifestyle. That's very important to us. Um, how you sleep in, how you eat in, um, all that is important to your health. We also use yoga. Um, yoga is our sister science. So yoga is part of Ayurveda, but we're like Ayurveda is like the umbrella and yoga is like the physical part of Ayurveda and this what I'm discussing is the medical part. We also use meditation. Um, we also have our own set of treatments that have been used for centuries and the purpose of the treatments, they seem kind of like an ordinary spa treatment but they're doing much more than that. We actually um, will choose a specific oil to use. The treatments um, reduce certain doshas. Um, even the colors that we use like in a treatment room or the sheets, the music we use, it's, it's all kind of specialized to your blend of doshas. Okay, so that's it for now. Otherwise, this video is going to get really complicated. I am going to talk more about Ayurveda. If you have any questions, leave that in the comment box. And I will try to remember to link an actual, um, you can actually take quizzes online. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you the Banyan test. I tried that and it is very good. And what the test is doing, it shows you what dosha blend you um, fall in. Okay, I'll see you guys later.